All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a little bit different video than you're used to seeing here on the YouTube for for me. Um, one thing that I'm going to do today is something that a lot of people have requested. I'm going to actually walk you guys through the process on how I do the skinning of cruisers, fire engines, and all that for the different servers such as BCI that I have been a part of or that I am a part of or that I will be a part of in the future if they request my assistance. There are a lot of tutorials out there on how to do this. I've watched a lot of those tutorials. I've actually learned a lot from those tutorials. So please don't use this as the only tutorial that you look at if you're interested in getting into it. But what we have here today, guys, is BX Bugs's Crown Vic. This is set up in a all blue uh, pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the livery on the car to the one that we set up. It's going to be an easy process, hopefully. Um, but without further ado, let's just get into it. So usually, guys, on a lot of your cars, when you bring them up and you do things, it's going to have a template in it. The template's going to look something like this. Okay, this is just the car set up and where everything goes on the car as far as your livery goes that you're going to make. Um, you can do this for the cars if you want to. Absolutely, it's not required. Um, but you can go through, you can do this and outline everything. That is completely up to you, but it's not something that is needed. Uh, essentially, when you get done with what you're working on, this will end up looking something like this. Okay, if you do it the way that I'm going to show you, this is what it's going to end up looking like. Both work absolutely perfect, and you don't have to worry about anything. Um, so we are going to be doing somewhat of a Kentucky State Patrol thing, but we're going to be making it a San Andreas-style car, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close that out because we're not going to need it. Uh, from here, guys, what you can do is you can always use, if you're in paint.net, which is what I'm using, you can always use the color picker. Come down through here, click on the different areas to find the exact color that you want of things um, from your, from anywhere that you're at, okay? Um, since I'm already working on a pack, I'm going to pick the color from here just because I've already done a car in the color that I really want. Um, so I'm going to just get my paint bucket, add in a second layer, which you can do just by pushing down here, okay? Um, I'm sorry guys if I'm talking really fast. Uh, just bear with me, okay? So from here, guys, once you get your second layer up, what you want to do is you want to come in, double-click here, okay, and then I turn the opacity down. Um, since it is black in the background, I tend to leave it up just a bit to where it kind of grays in everything, just so that I can see it, but I can also really see the colors that I'm working with, and they're going to pop out at me as I go. So from here, I add in another layer, and I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to use the color picker again because I want this color blue. Um, I don't necessarily want this lighter blue that's going to be here. Uh, and then what I do from here is you just click over here on the line and curves. And as you can see, guys, the line for the Crown Vic actually starts up here um, just to the top of the wheel well, and it goes all the way across both sets of doors, okay? Um, I'm not going to do the black moldings on the car uh, so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna come down here and do the line up okay um, so with that being said that line should be a 90 I do believe if I remember correct so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start right here and I'm just going to draw it straight up to here which actually that looks pretty big Sorry guys, one thing that I did forget to do, um, and I do apologize, is... Oh, no, I already did do it. When you come in, guys, and you're working on cars, uh, most widths that you're going to find for the pixel size on here are going to be like 2096, I believe it is, or 2098. What I do all my cars in is I do them at a width of 4096, a height of 4096 if I can, and a resolution of 4000. That's what I do, um, so just... Be aware of that. Uh, that should get you somewhere in the great, I think it's like a 4K quality of the car. Um, again, guys, I'm no expert at this. I do this as a hobby, something that I just like to have fun with. So with that being said, I'm going to come in here, and I am up to where I want to be, which is right in line with where I want to be for that. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to hit Enter. 
I'm going to pull out the the eraser here and I'm just going to trim this up. Uh, actually, I want to come in here real quick. Take that down just a bit and then I just want to trim this to where it's not going to come over here because it's not going to be on the fender. I just want it to be on the doors. And I'm going to do the same thing down here, which I got to come down just a little bit further for that. So what I'm going to do is go to the line, go to the middle here, and there we go. Go ahead and use the eraser, and I don't want it going there, and I want to clean it off of here. Alright, so that's going to give us our line, guys, that we want, um, and from here I have this design. Uh, this is what we're what we've been working with and what we like to see on the cars that I'm working on right now So what you may have to do a couple times. Okay is on this you definitely don't want it to just be set to replace um, You might want to click just click on the ad because what I have found with these is in order to get the full Just the circle picture with everything inside it. You're gonna have to do a couple different things um, on here so just come through here and just click on it and as you see everything starting to fill in i know guys this might sound ridiculous to you guys but i'm just going to show you the whole process okay um but just go through here you might also be able to hold down i believe it's shift and click on it and it'll click on all a bunch of the areas for you at once uh but just make sure you've got everything selected make sure you don't have anything within the object that you want uh, showing those little those little circle spots around them okay um, hit control copy and come over to here and control V now what you've just done from there is you've set your object in so as we can see this actually takes up a big portion of the door okay um, so what we're going to do is from here I'm going to make it bigger where it's going to be about where I want it but what I do want though is I do want it to be squared on squared on the door and squared over top of my line um, that's just the way that I want it so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit enter there okay oh. and I do apologize guys I just messed up um, what I do, what I do tend to do, guys, what I try to do, and please forgive me, I'm trying to do all this while recording. So, uh, what I tend to do, guys, and what I like to do when I'm doing cars is I try to do every part of the or every aspect of the car in a different, in a different layer. Okay. Um, so we'll put that back. That was just a control copy or a control C, control V to drop it back in. It shows right back up where I had it. So from there, guys, what I want to do is I want to create the state trooper part that is right here on the cars. So what I can do from there is I can come in and I can just hit the text button over here and I can do state trooper, which is not going to show up because when I put it at the 4000 resolution, obviously, it shrinks it down or I'm sorry it shrinks it to where the lettering is going to be extremely huge on what I'm trying to do so what I try to do from there is I come in and I find the I find a font that I like um, that I was able to keep it in and then you can go through and you can look at all the different oh, I do apologize guys my forehead itch there um, so then what you can do is you can go in and you can f try to find the best text that you like that matches up with it. Um, that to me actually looks pretty good. Um, but I'm still going to see if I can't find something else. And I don't like being, not being able to see the whole thing. So I want to pull this over just a tad while I go through these. Um, that actually doesn't look bad either. And 
those aren't doing anything different. Okay. And I actually, I like that a lot. That is the band script, semi light, semi code that we're going to go with. So we are just going to go with this. Okay. Um, then what you do from here, guys, is you just come through. I'm sorry, you click on your magic wand over here, go through, highlight all of the different lettering. And then you control copy, control V. Okay, and then you just line it up to where you want it. Now, one thing that you are gonna have to do is you're gonna have to sit here and change the way things are on your car, okay? Um, so you're going to have to actually sit here and mess with the diff and mess with the height and all that of your lettering as you go through. That is something you're going to have to do, um, but it's something that's not that much of a hassle to do. So, and what you want is is you want to line it up the way that it is on here. So as you can see, it does. The line comes up and then this does sloop down just a bit because it starts up high, sloops down over the wheel well here and ends just before the tail light assembly. So as you can see, uh, it's a little bit big, but it does sloop down. It comes across over top of this and ends pretty close to where it does on that. So. What we can do from there, guys, is as you see, we have this all set up on that on that part of the car. Now, if you're not really sure about how your car is set up, excuse me, at this time, or if you think it's going to look right, you can always do what I'm about to do, okay, which is merge all your cells down. And we're just going to save this real quick as I'm just going to save it as YouTube real quick. Oh, hold on, did I do that right? And you always, guys, always, always, always want to save it as a PNG file. Okay, so We'll just name this back as YouTube. It'll pop this up, just making sure you do want to save it the way you do, just hit okay. Um, then guys, what you do is you come over here to your, you come over here to 5M, which you have open. I always suggest guys, make a mods folder. Um, there are YouTube tutorials on how to make a mods folder. Get a mods folder, get it set up for your vehicle and what you're gonna do, okay? Then you're just gonna follow everything down to where you get to where you put in your vehicles. Okay, um, again, there's tutorials out there for all that, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. Come into where the YTD is, okay? Um, the YTD is all the files for the vehicle and where things go and everything else. And as you can see, here is what the cruiser sign is that's on the car already, the one that you saw at the very beginning of the thing. While you're in edit mode, you're just gonna right click here you're going to replace, you're going to track back uh, to where you have your vehicle file at that you want to have. You're going to double click on that. It will pop into here. You just click save and then you open up the YFT file. Once you've opened up the YFT file, as you can see, the vehicle is completely painted and you come over here and you can actually see how things line up to see if you like the way it is. See if your state trooper is curling over top of the hood or whatever it is that you wanna do. I like the way that that looks. I like the way that it's set up. Um, I might have to go in and do just a bit of touch up here on the door where it looks like it's peeling back um, on the blue line, but overall it's not bad. So I do like the way that that's set up so we're going to come back here, we're going to undo, undo, and undo, which is going to take us back to 
to where we're currently working. Okay, so from here, guys, there's a couple things that you can do. Okay, um, you can redraw your line from here to here, make it all set up the way that you like it. Another option that you have is, is you can always go to that layer, and this is why I always suggest layering your work and how you do it. Come in with your magic wand, select it, control copy, control V. Now this is kind of a lazy way of doing it, I will admit that, okay? But it comes down to here, and then you, whoop, do apologize, and then you come here and pull that over to here, which you're going to have to stay here and mess with it just a bit. That is something you're going to have to do just to make sure that you have everything lined up the way that you want it lined up. Okay, so that gives you your line, and that line should be perfectly in line with this because you've lined it up the way that it is on the car. From this side to this side, all you did was transport it over and change it to where you wanted it, okay? So now we're going to go back up to level 4. Layer 4, I do apologize, not level 4. Use your magic wand again, and if you click on it, it should highlight every part of this for you. Notice how there's nothing still saying that it needs to be highlighted within this. You control copy, control V, and then you can come right back down. And as you notice, guys, there are lines down the door and all that, and it's pretty well lined up here on the door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go just a tad bit up to make it lined up and just a tad over the line there, which pretty much looks like it's set up just like that door. And then you're just going to hit enter. Boom, you've placed that part now. You can come back in, you can highlight all this, you can go through setting it all up the way that it was, or again, you can come in with your magic wand, select all of it, and of course, control C, control V, or control copy, control paste, come back over and then you can literally just set this so it's right about here um, scroll over a bit and then just rotate this down and then once you've rotated it down you can pull this down and I've got it angled a little too much for me and post that there I kind of I like the way that that is I think that pretty much lines up with the same thing so it does it does okay so now we have the sides of our cars guys done the one thing that we do have to do is on the Kentucky State Patrol cars that we're kind of going after here um, I'll show you a picture real quick of it as you can see they have state police across the back. That's the only graphic that's going to be across the back um, trunk latch area or boot or whatever you want to call it of the vehicle. So from here, guys, what you're going to do is, okay, so we have state police and it's across both sides of the emblem. So the one thing that I can show you guys is, is as you see on all of the vehicles, on all of the layers that you're going to have, it is not going to have the emblems for Ford or where the emblem goes on your vehicle. So what you do need to do though is you can always open up always open up your file here and see okay so this does have the Ford emblem some may not or this is called dash on this car obviously for the copyright reasons. So we know that that is there. So what we can do, guys, from here is is it's not state trooper on the back. It's going to be state police. So I don't need this anymore. But since I'm still working on the lines, I'm still working on the, the wording and all that on the car, I can still use layer 4 because it's still within the same thing that I've been working on, and it's not something new that I'm throwing into the car. So I'm just going to go back to text. And I'm going to do the word and capitalized. I'm going to do the word state. And separately, I'm going to do the word police. Okay, I'm going to use my magic wand now. And I'm going to select the state. 
control copy, control paste, or and I'm going to come in and it's showing that it's in line with this on the car, okay? Um, so I'm going to do it this way. And then that should leave plenty of room there for for the emblem. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing, guys, here with the police. Oh. Okay, so from here, guys, one thing that I do like to do is I like to try to make my lettering all the same size um, just because I think it makes it look better okay it's not going to be anything crazy uh, actually I can just use the E Alright, so that looks like it's the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in line with that but come over. Now the police I'm going to have to shrink in just a little bit as you can see because it's going to run way off to the side of the car and we only want it to come right in line with that to about here. Um, and again that should leave plenty of room for the Ford emblem or in this, in this case the dash emblem to go up there. Go ahead and delete that out. And what we're going to do now, guys, is again, we're going to merge everything down. Um, if Remember, if you've changed your opacity down at all during the course of this, you have to take it back to full opacity unless you want this to happen when you go down through. Okay, um, it's going to give it a lighter shade on that next layer when you take it up than what it does on the layer that you want. So just make sure... You turn your opacity all the way up, guys, as you're going. Um, and then do that there. Of course, that's going to take over that. File save because you already have it saved as the file that you want. Open up this. I want the YTD here. And we're going to be changing this again. Replace it with this save and and then guys what I always do is I always come in and I look over the YTD file yet again and as you can see it lines up nicely you have your state police there's plenty of room it's evenly spaced between the emblem which as you can see again state police evenly spaced between the emblem so we're right on line. I could probably draw the police out just a bit and not have it compressed in so much. I could probably do that just a tad. However, I like the way that this looks. It looks really good. Um, one thing that I am going to do, though, real quick, guys, because and it's a personal pet peeve of mine, is I'm going to undo... I'm only going to do it to actually I'm going to undo all layers here real quick and I want to come in make this black and I want to come in and go from here to here that should have it and I want to get the paint bucket and just go inside there and make it black. Um, the reason that I want to do that, guys, and I'm going to show you why, is on almost every Crown Vic um, that I've ever driven at work, which I got a little bit more there that I got to go black with. Okay. So I'm going to redraw this real quick. Give me just a second here, guys. Um, and the reason that I'm going to do this, and it's all going to make perfect sense to you here in just a second once I get done doing it and I show it to you, 
is that no Crown Vic that I've ever driven in my life has had a painted black plastic area on the car. And what I'm talking about here, guys, is this area right here. This area has always been black on every car that I know of. I know some places, I think California, CHP may have on their polar bear units at one point had that as white. And I drug the wrong thing off. But I like to keep it black just because it's, honestly, it's what I like. So um, we're going to go down with that layer again. Again, go all the way back up. Take it back down one more time. Save it. Open IV. Open up your YTD. Replace. Yep. Save it and... All right, so there is that. There is that, and as you can see now, all that is black. And all that was was from taking that color and and changing it on there. So that's what made all of that area black on the car. All right, so I like the way that that looks. So what we're going to do from here, guys, is I'm going to go in Uh, what I'm going to do from there, guys, is I'm go just going to go in real quick. Uh, and I have a server set up already to do it, uh, which... Give me just a second here, guys. I do apologize. And what I need to do is I need to put that back here. Open it up. Okay. So right now, guys, what I have is, is I have my test server that I'm getting ready to pull up to show you the livery on the car. What you do from here, guys, is, is you're... If you have a server set up or however you're going to test it, especially if it's a 5M, it's a really short, simple thing to do. All of your cars, of course, have their own resource. When you go in, you have to have the stream, the car calls, and all that to the vehicle with the resources.lua. Your stream is what's going to stream the vehicle. So all those files that you just did from 5M, highlight them and drag them over to that folder. It's going to come up and say this, do this for the next three. Yes, copy and replace. So what we're going to do from there, guys, is I'm going to go back to my FX server. And we're going to start up my test server and just show you how easy that it is to go. So I need to come in here one last time, go to desktop, and of course 5M updates just about every day and with every 5M update there is something somewhere that is going to be broken. I can almost guarantee it. Something somewhere in a server is going to be messed up because 5M has done an update. I don't think that I've ever had a 5M update that has just made everything work absolutely perfectly the way that I want it. Okay, so 5M should be up opening up here in just a minute, guys. Please, if you like this video in the comments below, let me know. If you didn't like it, if you want to see something else on the channel, guys, Please let me know. Um, I'm sorry that there hasn't been a lot of content on the channel. I am on Twitch. If you're interested in joining me on Twitch, it's cdecker871. Uh, again, that's cdecker871 on Twitch. Uh, you more than willing and would love to have everybody there hanging out. Uh, if nothing else, guys, just join to watch what I do. Um, you know, I never in any point function or anything else want people 
to give money or anything. Um, I simply enjoy doing these things and I enjoy putting my videos out there and the content that I create out to people just for you guys to enjoy because I enjoy playing video games and as a part of enjoying playing video games I've enjoyed doing learning how to do what would be the back end stuff on servers and by doing back end stuff on servers is things like creating liveries for cars finding cars putting cars into a test server making sure that they work the windows break it the windows don't pop out all over the place when you crash the car you know all this stuff that goes on has to be done on the back end and it's stuff that I actually enjoy doing um, and what I mean by that is I enjoy taking my time especially my time off and sitting here and drawing out cars and looking at it and trying to make it as close to the real life thing as I possibly can for everybody uh, at the end of the video here guys I'm just gonna pull up pull up my stuff and I'll show you the different things that I've already done um, so what we're going to do guys is come over here and if you've got a server then obviously you know what an M menu is um, and where you got to go and I want to go to vehicle spawner and oops, state one which when it pops up if I've done everything right as you can see is going to be our skin it's going to be exactly what we have. And like I said, it is an all blue pattern. So let me get it over here under the light. Because of course we would have to be here at night and when we log into the server. But that is what it's going to look like, guys, when you get done doing it. Um, So this is a car, guys. As you can see, the license plate area is grayed out. Um, I'm sure you can probably see it better back here. But the license plate area is grayed out. Remember what I told you about the license plate? Some vehicles, you have a template that you can actually change the text of your license plate. Some vehicles do not. This one, you can actually go in and create a license plate if you want. And of course, one thing that, guys, that I've always loved about BX Bugs and the vehicles that he makes is that he always has a bunch of extras on his cars like there's back lights there's the dash light and the grill lights that you can add in um, two different types of spotlights you can have them like they're down you can have them like they're up um, LA I'm sorry LPRs the stuff on the back deck forget what that adds in and then of course you know there are lights on the back bumper there so with that being said guys that is how it's going to look that's what is good for it at that point um, just a simple vehicle skin it took us what 33 minutes and that's with showing with showing it in a server just chilling and everything else um, so what I'm going to do here, guys, is I am going to quit out of the test server here. Um, we have this up, but give me just a second, because what I'm going to do here, guys, is get all of this closed down. Template cars. So, guys, what I have done is for all the community, well, for one of the communities in particular that I was a part of, um, that I actually just left today as BCIRP, I actually created multiple liveries for it all the liveries on all of their emergency vehicles were done by me or at least up until this point they were this is actually a charger for them um, and it is based on the canfield police department in ohio um, and as you can see this is what the charger looks like there um, which is actually it's kind of in a shaded area so it's got a real dark silver to it and all that that's what it looks like normally with sunlight on it um, but this was it this is the way that it came out and then of course their their old crown Vicks 
you know, and again, this is the Crown Vic body. So what I was telling you guys is, is if I went through and I actually put in all the body lines and you could see exactly how this lines up on the car and everything else, um, you know, prime example here would be the first one that I did of the can filled, um, charger, but the gray here actually was so dark gray that it looked greenish and I wasn't happy with it. So I ended up changing it around a bit. Um, also guys, I did the Columbus Police Department, and this is, of course, was the Dodge Ram that they had in, uh, the Charger that they had in, the 2018 Charger, the 14 Charger, which is the same graphic, the CVPI, which is the same graphic as both of those. Uh, the County Sheriff cars, which I like, I, I really like these, but at the same time, uh, I've never really been happy with them. Uh, at one point, we had them with just a Chevron on the back bumper of the cars and so forth. So this is just different looks of how things look uh, and so forth. So, let's see. And of course, the Highway Patrol guys, the only thing I did for the Highway Patrol was I did create the Highway Patrol skin for the helicopter, the Maverick helicopter, which is what you see here. This is the underbelly of the helicopter. Uh, this is the back of the helicopter. I'm sorry, no, this is the front of the helicopter here to the wing area with the Highway Patrol on the back door. And the actual number that I found for the Ohio State Highway Patrol's helicopter, this is their actual nomenclature for the helicopter. So from there, guys, um, that's pretty much everything that I have. I have had some random cars. I'm sorry, guys, that you're going to hear my dogs barking in the background. There's not much that I can do about it. Um, what I will say, guys, is, is when I first started doing this and first wanted to get into creating cars, this was my first skin that I ever did. Okay, as you can see, it is not very good at all. Uh, it, wow, yeah. But as time has gone on, um, I did do a county sheriff for... Baltimore area I do believe this is um, that I did just messing around one day um, I actually did the city of Springfield Ohio uh, that was NBCI for a while as our city police cars which is the different ones um, and then I have done some <laughs> full metal jacket on Twitch, uh, her name's Olivia, and she wanted a, mo she wanted a circle mobile, because what she does is she's actually a dev too. She runs around and does the circles, where you go and you put cars back in, take cars out, and so forth. So I created this for her. Um, I've also messed around with the Dayton Police Department here in Ohio, just making a quick livery of it. Um, just messed with a couple different ones trying to make just trying to make them look good uh, this one is actually based out of a Florida agency I forget which agency it is um, I created just a work just messing around for the Riverside Police Department here in Ohio um, this is not what their cars look like this is the Ford Explorer um, however I wanted to work with it a little bit to see what I could do to make it look a little bit different uh, this was actually a replica that I did of the City of Riverside Police Department's CVPI that they used to have and the graphics that were on this and this is actually based off of um, a cruiser and the way that if I know right the way that they've always done their cars is this is their seventh car in their fleet and it was a 2011 Crown Vic that it was on so that's how they came up with their numbers and all that for their department um, but this is one that I did for them too. And then, of course, I did this one. This is based off of 
an agency in Kentucky um, that I just did messing up. It was very simple, very short and sweet and able to be done. Uh, this actually, all I did was put this over onto a vehicle. This was done by a guy named Adam um, from BCI that wanted this on his vehicle, on his vehicles. So with that being said, guys, we are going to go ahead and call it today. Uh, hope everybody is having a great day, and we will catch everybody later. Thank you.